welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. Um, and in this video, we are going to look at the NFL Week 18 games. The NFL Week 18 games, in some cases, what was supposed to be good games were absolutely robbed of us. But in many cases, the results of Week 17 actually made it a positive for Week 18. So we're just going to quickly recap NFL Week 17 and see what the hell happened in the NFL Week 17. First on Thursday Night Football, the Browns beat the Jets to clinch a playoff spot. The Cowboys beat the Lions in controversial fashion on Saturday Night Football. Um, um, that prevented the Lions from controlling their destiny to attain the number two seed anymore and actually almost certainly mathematically locked them in the number three seed. We're actually looking at a lot of scenarios for, from the New York Times at the end of the video after we recap everything and see what everyone's chances are. The Texans squished the Titans, so they control their own desti de de destiny. Um, Fal Falcons lost to the Bears. Bears were still out because the Seahawks won and the Packers and Vikings didn't tie, but the Falcons are still in because the Buccaneers lost. They lost to the Saints, and even though they still control their own destiny for the NFC South, a loss to the Panthers next week, and we'll get to that, and they can't get it anymore. The Ravens squished the Dolphins to attain the number one seed for the AFC East, for, I mean, for the entire AFC of the AFC East. It's now going to come down to Dolphins versus Bills week 18. That's also because the Bills beat the Patriots. Cardinals stunned the Eagles. That was a very, very, very bad game that I wish never happened. This allowed the 49ers to get the one seed combined with their win over the Commanders, as well as the Lions' loss. Um, 49ers fans cheered for the Cardinals in the locker room, which is very weird considering that they're long standing rivals, but occasionally it actually makes sense. This is a case where the Cardinals really helped them out. Um, the Cardinals really helped, it, helped them out, even though they're normally division rivals, to attain the one seed. Um, And it also shifted the control of the destiny to the Cowboys in a week where the Eagles could have clinched the division. Now we lack control of our destiny to even win the NFC East. Um, Jaguars Panthers. The Jaguars shut out the Panthers to maintain control of the destiny for the AFC South title. The Colts narrowly edged the Raiders to eliminate it from the playoffs and give the Colts control of the destiny. Uh, Rams narrowly beat the Giants. It all came down. It, it was. It was a game that was actually full of hilarious mistakes. Um, I'll show you what that means because this is funny. So pretty much the Rams miss an extra point in the third quarter. And then they miss an extra point in the fourth quarter. The Giants in the third quarter miss an extra point. So there are three extra points that were missed here. Any one of which could have tilt, shifted the battle. And then the Giants' final touchdown, um, their two-point conversion was no good. Should they have gone for the field goal, especially seeing what happened to the Lions in a very similar situation? Probably. But the Giants were trying to get it done right there at 27-26. And had they gotten it, the Rams would have not clinched the playoff spot, and it all would have come down to the fact that they missed two extra points. That they could have had a 28-27 lead on. But the Giants also missed an extra point. So, had the Giants gotten that extra point, it would have been 26-26. And they wouldn't have had to have gone for two. And maybe then it would have been 27, 26 in favor of the Giants. It's a game that it was so close and there were so many errors that if you if you take the errors away, because maybe the Rams didn't get it, then they then you know, what if they were before that final play, what if they were 28 and 19? Then the Giants would have had to have gotten an onside kick and it wouldn't have mattered so much for them. So again, the errors really shifted the balance of that game in a significant way. Then you had the night, the afternoon games. Um, you had Steelers defeat the Seahawks um, to keep the Steelers' playoff hopes alive. While while the Seahawks lost control of their destiny, the Chiefs beat the Bengals. So the Chiefs locked the AFC West in number three seed and kicked the Bengals and Broncos out of playoff contention um, in one swoop. Even though the Broncos won, they still are out of the playoff contention. And the Packers beat the Vikings to get control of their own destiny when they were otherwise facing elimination. And now the Vikings have their backs pressed against a wall. So that's a quick recap of what happened in Week 17. In Week 18, the first game of the Steelers versus the Ravens kicking off at 4.30 p.m. 
The Steelers um, not only need to win, but they need either the Bills or the Jaguars to lose to make the playoffs. The Ravens have nothing to fight for, but they might not want to rest the starters because, number one, kicking the um, Steelers out of the postseason is going to be a fun task for the Ravens. And also, same with the 49ers. They already clinched it, but they might not want their stars to go two full weeks without playing. But it's hard to say because they also don't want to risk an injury to them in Week 18. So a lot of teams that have spots secured aren't going to rest the stars. But when, when you get to the number one seed, it gets tricky. And they might rest some of them, but not all of them. It depends. Saturday night game, they want to do a game that's independent playoff implications, and the Texans and Colts both get their first primetime game. They were both horrible teams last year and, and seemingly had no prospects for any success, and yet right now they're both 9-7 and seven teams that are looking to make the playoff push. Lose this game, and you're out of the playoffs. Win this game, and you clinch a spot, and the Jaguars will also, and the Jaguars, if they lose, you get the AFC South over them. It's a it's a big game. They're not going to know whether, whether or not they can close the AFC South, but it's independent playoff implications because they're at the very least going to, um, you know, they're at the very least going to be able to, um, um, they're going to be able to um, get a playoff buff. Jaguars and Titans, that's the 1 o'clock game that is going to, again, determine – who controls the AFC South? You have Vikings Lions, which isn't going to have significant playoff implications because the Vikings need a lot of help anyway, even if they win. A bunch of teams got to lose. Lions, they, they need both the Cowboys and Eagles to lose if they want to get a two seed and guarantee home field advantage to the NFC Championship. It's more likely they'll only get home field advantage in the first round and not the second. Falcons versus Saints. Um, that's also a 1 o'clock game. Again, if the Falcons lose, they're out. And if Tampa wins, which they're also playing at 1 o'clock, then they're out as well. New Orleans Saints, if they if Tampa wins, they have a very complicated path to get it as a wild card team, but the Falcons quite literally cannot get it as an 89 wild card team. Um, but the Saints don't control their own destiny for the NFC South either, because if, again, if the Buccaneers win, they clinch the South. And the Buccaneers can actually still make it if they lose. But they need help with help with the Packers and Seahawks losing, and we'll get to that. Um, we might not be able to find every single scenario, but we'll try our best. Browns, Bengals. Browns clinch the five seed. Bengals are out. It's gonna have no playoff implications. Same for Jets, Patriots. They're both eliminated teams. Bears, Packers, and this is the first four twenty-five game. We actually have seven of them. So Bears, so that's all the one o'clock games, and the NFL really did it this year, where they're not gonna know ahead of time what the what the results are. Like, like Falcons Saints, they're not going to know whether, whether or not they can clinch the NFC South until until their game is over because of the Buccaneers. They're not going to know ahead of time. And they want it this way. When they have the Cowboys, Commanders, and Eagles, Giants, if there's actually a big uh, winter storm that could be heading towards the East Coast on January 7th. It's far out, so we don't know if there's going to be any snow. Um, But... A winter storm like that could really screw both te- could really screw it over. Because let's say that the Cowboys Commanders game is affected and the Eagles lose. Cowboys clinch, the game has no meaning. Um s- same for, you know, Eagles. Same for the Cowboys. If, if MetLife is affected and they can't have the game and Cowboys clinch, then the Eagles have nothing to fight for. They're locked into the five seed. It really is a disheartening position because if the Cowboys win or the Eagles lose. We're stuck in a five seed, but honestly, having to play a resurgent team like having to play a a, a surging team like um like the steel like the Packers or the um, Rams might not be a good for us. Whereas now we're at least in a position where okay, we should be able to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm not saying that it's confirmed that we can beat the Buccaneers. I'm just saying that we should be able to beat them if we play up against the Falcons or Saints. It should be even easier than the Buccaneers. Although I'm not holding my breath for, a, um, and honestly, the Eagles, especially for a road team, we'd be underdogs. If we even if we beat the Cardinals and got a two seed, we still would have been underdogs. But now we're, we're underdogs and we're on the road, even though we have a better record. It's a very disheartening position. Um, and honestly, of the three wild card teams in the NFC, the Eagles are probably the least likely to make the improbable run up to the Super Bowl. Uh, it just really is. We have to. The Eagles would all of a sudden have to like snap into proper formation. 
Broncos Raiders, they're both out. It could have had playoff implications, but we got robbed of that. Had the Raiders won, it would have had playoff it, it could have had playoff implications, although then again, depending on how the other games go, it's not exactly a guarantee. Then again, they might have had to have rescheduled everything differently. Seahawks Cardinals. Again, with the Packers being at 425, the Seahawks are not gonna know ahead of time can they clinch the playoffs. They're not gonna know ahead of time. Rams 49ers is um 425. But again, there's real the only difference is are the Rams getting to succeed, or if they lose in the Packers win, are they gonna be stuck at the seventh seed? Chiefs Chargers, they are um Again, no playoff implication with the Chiefs locked into the three seed and the Chargers eliminated. Bills, Dolphins, it's a Sunday night game. It's going to tell me the AFC West and the Steelers and Jaguars both win. Can the Bills even make the playoffs? So first, I, I do want to go to the New York Times. And we, I just want to look at everyone's odds. New York Times playoff scenarios, because that's actually free. I think it's free. So, in this case, um, you can see in the AFC, the Ravens clinched the bye. Now, the Dolphins' odds to win a division are 53%, and the Bills' odds to win a division are 47%. And, um, and as you can see, the Bills really made the run up from having only a 14% chance to make the playoffs to now have a 95% chance to make the playoffs. They're in a great position. But winning the division, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up between the Bills and Dolphins. You have two really good teams going into Miami. Dolphins have been not as great as of late, and they struggle against teams with winning records. Whereas the um, whereas you know, now the Browns also clinched. The Steelers, their playoff odds are twenty-eight percent. They were seventy-four percent. Then they went in that collapse, and even though they surged up a little bit. From being practically on the floor, their playoff odds are still not great because they because they need to win, which is not the most likely scenario, and they need help. Now, the Jaguars have a seventy seven percent odds to make the playoffs and a sixty percent chance to win the division. So obviously, the other forty percent is split between the Colts and Texans. Now, the Colts Texans game is a toss up. Colts have fifty two percent odds to make to win. Texans have forty eight percent odds, and then and then honestly, from there, it's just basic math. If you divide that. If you take that and multiply that by the 40% chance they have to, the Jaguars have of losing, that's their division odds. Again, the Texans, their, their playoff chances kind of slid down a little bit. The Colts were kind of on the up and down, um, but they had a slight improvement. Colts are narrow favorites, but again, it's going to be a very, very close and good game because this is a toss-up. Jaguars, they're very likely to make the playoffs, and they should also be able to. Um, they should also be able to win the division. In the AFC West, everything just fell apart. Yeah, see, look. The, yeah, see, look. I don't want to be on this page. The Eagles only have a 17% chance to make, to make the um, playoffs. I mean, to win the division. Cowboys are 83% because... The Cowboys would have to suffer a very improbable loss to the Commanders. And honestly, at this point, the Eagles are almost more likely to lose to the Giants the way they've been playing. The Eagles are somehow still 6.5 point favorites against the Giants. I, I don't know how. I bet when Tom Glossy is going to do his playoff prediction videos, I bet that he's going to predict the Giants to win this game. I think he's going to actually predict the Giants to win this game. And that's very embarrassing that the Giants are being predicted to win this game. But honestly, it's probably going to happen. Um, any chance of us being in any top 10 power rankings are, are, are over. We could actually maybe look at the Week 18 power rankings. Grassi didn't put us when we beat the Giants, even though we snapped out the big game losing streak. So if he did, didn't put it, us in there then, we might not even be in, in, in an honorable mention anymore. We, 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 we might just be out of it. I don't know. I, I actually don't know what he's going to do. That video's probably going to come out at like, between six and eight today, we're probably going to be totally out of it. Chiefs might be back in the top ten after their win against the Bengals. I don't know what they're going to do, what he's going to do about that. If he's going to put the uh, Chiefs, maybe only as an honorable mention. I don't know. Yeah, the Lions have clinched everything. The Packers out to the playoffs are now sixty eight percent after they took a bit of a hit, and the Vikings out to make the playoffs at three percent. 
Now, the Bucks have a 56% chance to um, make the playoffs, but that's pretty much by winning the division. And Falcons have 17% because all they can do is win the division. I guess the scenarios of the Bucks making is a wild card, either impossible, and the source was wrong, or I don't know. And the Saints, they have a 34% chance to make the playoffs and a 27% chance to win a division. Honestly, though, the, the fact that the Carolina Panthers have a 44% chance to win that game, which is practically what that's telling me, that's scary. And looking at this, the Seahawks have only a 21% chance to make the playoffs now. Looking at Super Bowl odds, it's 5% for the Dolphins, 7% for the Bills. I can't tell if this is to make the Super Bowl or to win it. 26% for the Ravens, um, 2% for the Browns, less than 1% for the Steelers, less than 1% for the Jaguars, Colts, or Texans, 4% for the Chiefs, 8% for the Cowboys, 2% for the Eagles, 2% for the Lions, less than 1% for the Packers or Vikings, um, less than 1% for any NFC South team, 41% for the 49ers, and less than 1% for the Seahawks. So this is to win. So, so yeah, this um, this doesn't give you, like give you detailed scenarios, like when you when you look at it. Um, but yeah, it's just something that I thought would be interesting. So now I have to look at all this all the scenarios. So NFL Week 18 scenarios. Is there anything more complicated? And I'll show you based on what my research has done earlier today. But um, but looking at it for the playoff scenarios, Packers. All they need to do is win. There's like a scenario of the Packers making the playoffs if they lose or whatever. Um, same for the Buccaneers. But uh, we'll worry about that after this because this is all the simple scenarios. The Vikings will clinch a wild card if they win. The Packers lose, the Saints lose, and the Seahawks lose. They need all those teams to lose. The Cowboys clinch the NFC East with a win or an Eagles loss, so the Eagles clinch the NFC East with a win and the Cowboys loss. Tie, and um, if they both tie, the Cowboys will get it. If they, um, if, and, and if, and if, um, you know, the, if the, the only way a tie really go, if, if the Eagles tie and the Cowboys lose, then yes. But if the Eagles, um, but if the Cowboys tie, unless the Eagles win, then no. Buccaneers will clinch the NFC South with a win, and the Saints Falcons winner clinches the NFC South with a Buccaneers loss. The Dolphins Bills winner will clinch the AFC East. The Jaguars clinch the AFC South with a win. Um, the Colts Texans winner will clinch the playoff berth and clinch the AFC South if the Jaguars lose. The Steelers clinch a wild card with a win, and either Bills or Jaguars lost. So you can see how how Bill's elimination scenarios, because they didn't mention that, but the Bills have not clinched. So so you know. Oh no, this is be this is just like what happens. Um So now um this is like the NFL what could have happened in week seventeen and what didn't happen. Um So I don't want to say there's anything for week eighteen elimination scenarios. But you might not be able to find it. Like I I, I I'm trying to find sources here. Is this Jaguars clinching in elimination scenarios? Maybe bleach or something. I do want to look at the Jaguars source really quick. Um, so the Jaguars beat the Titans next week. They'll be AFC champions. And if they lose, they'll need help to keep the season alive. So week 14, they need to beat the Titans. Now, the number seven seed is still on the table for them. Um, they can't be like any, any six seed or whatever. Um, and actually Colts Texans, I don't think that they could 
get the um, succeed. The Texans might be possible if the Steelers make the postseason because of, because the Texans did kind of blow out the Steelers. But, um, you know, like the Colts versus the Steelers, the Colts also beat the Steelers, actually. So they also have the tie pick over them. So I guess that's how they get a succeed if the Steelers make the playoffs, but it's very difficult. They're probably going to be settling for the seventh seed. And again, I could have run on New York Times website to like show you this. Maybe we'll have time, but in order for them to get the seventh seed and they lose to the Titans, they need to have the Ravens beat the Steelers. Despite the Broncos being eliminated, they have to lose to the Raiders. Because at 9 8, they come out of a huge traffic jam. Um, because they have two wins against Indianapolis, one against Houston, one against Pittsburgh. So all those head tiebreaker wins will put them on top of the scenario. But for the Broncos, um, get it? It, it just like it just like th- screws the whole tiebreaker scenario around. So yeah, for the Jaguars elimination scenarios. If they lose, um, if they lose, and either the Steelers or Broncos win, just looking at Bleacher Report, um. So yeah, the Bills will be eliminated from the playoffs if they stum- if they um so it's just a stumble against the Dolphins, not stumble against the Bills. And then both the Jaguars and Pittsburgh Steelers will win in week 18. That's gonna kick the Bills out of the playoffs. The Dolphins clinch the playoff buff, so their win will determine whether or not they're the number two seed or the number six seed, plain and simple. But in the case of the um in the case of the Buffalo Bills, they could get the two seed if they win, and if they lose, they risk total elimination from the playoffs. That's like about as big playoff level as I've as seen. Win, and they can guarantee home field advantage through the AFC Championship game. Um, Ravens get upset there, and they get home field advantage all the way. But all they have to do, all they have to do is screw it up against, um, against the Dolphins, and have Pittsburgh and Jacksonville come with a win. And they'll know by the end of it, are they guaranteed the playoff berth? Or, uh, or is this going to be for all the marbles? They'll know by the end of it. They'll know. They are absolutely going to know. And the Jaguars are also going to know by the time it happens, if they lose, are they totally eliminated from the playoffs, or can they still get it? They'll know. Because they'll know if the Steelers won, even if they don't know the result of the Broncos game. So uh, they won't know if, if if a loss if they lose they won't know if they're eliminated. Well, they 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 might not know. So the Jags need to avoid a potential losing out scenario. And yeah, and this is only the Steelers win, but they but the Broncos win would also cost them. This source is a bit wrong on that. So yeah, and and yeah, that's that. In the NFC playoff picture, Packers just need to beat the Bears, and they could get the sixth seed um, if the Rams rest their stars against the 49ers and lose. And that's because Green Bay won in Week Nine. LA might for the number seven seed wins depending on the matchup because um might for the number seven seed depending on how it views the matchup with either the Lions or the Cowboys, but it's complicated. So the Saints need to beat the Falcons to have a chance of either leapfrogging Green Bay for seventh or to or to launch to the NFC South over the Buccaneers. So we could actually look more deeply at the Saints playoff scenarios and they could lock up the NFC South title crown with the win over the Carolina Panthers. Lose that game and they can't clinch us out. So in order for the Saints to get in, if they either need to have the Bucks lose or have Green Bay and Seattle both lose. Atlanta is still alive despite being one spot behind the Bears. But they need to have the, beat the Saints and have the Bucks lose to get the NFC South crown. 
And Minnesota, also the near impossible task, to drop from, ten, from jump to 10 to 7. They need to be the Lions and then hopefully the Packers, Seahawks lose and either the Saints or the Buccaneers have to lose. And I saw that on TV when I watched Sunday Night Football. Had they won, the Packers would have been out and they would have, um, you know. So now I'm curious is how can the Packers make the playoffs if they lose? Because it's possible. It's possible. Um, all they're showing is, um, yeah, I, I honestly can't tell green, um, if they, if they, if they lose, can they make the playoffs? Like I'm not finding any source. I'm just not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. According to the Milwaukee Journal Times, there is a scenario available to Green Bay if they lose. They would need the Vikings, the Seahawks, and the Saints to lose. So, it's a very hard task. They need a lot of help if they lose. But because it'd all be tight, they'd be tight. The Falcons, Bears, Seahawks, Saints, and Packers would be tied 8 and 9, regardless of what happens with the Bucks game. Um, Packers and Falcons will avail in divisional tie because of their counterparts to compete with Seattle for the seventh spot. Even though Atlanta beat Green Bay head to head, Seattle hasn't played Atlanta, so they can't use the head to head tiebreaker. And it will be conference record. Seattle, Atlanta would fall behind in conference record. Seattle and Green would be tied. But Seattle would beat them in the same scenario that let them, you know, in. So yeah. Now can the Bucks make the playoffs if they lose? They can't win the, the NFC South, but there is a scenario that lets them lose. I want to see if this has it. They they need a Seahawks and a and a Packers lost to make the playoffs at that point. Um. So can the Bucks make the playoffs if they lose? Now, can the um, Saints make the playoffs if they lose? They can't go into South, but I want to see, can they still make it? Um, oh, nope, they have to win. So yeah, that's that. Um, I could just go into predictions, but I don't feel like it and I can't.